Okay, um, first I would like to apologize real life guys. Uh, I'm so sorry for the delay because I was confused at first. I'm using Streamlabs. I thought I had to select the uh, create. Uh, why don't I go live with a scheduled live stream? I just realized I should have chosen uh, the persistent option. Anyway, uh, thank you for uh, clicking or watching this video. If you're new here to this channel, my name is G. And in this live stream, uh, we're going to talk about the U.S. visa, a uh, U.S. tourist visa application here in the Philippines. So I'm gonna speak in Tagalog in this video, in this live stream, because most of the Filipino, uh, most of the people who will be watching this, are Filipinos. But yeah, uh, if you are interested in joining us, please uh, go and you know chat over there uh, let me know what you think and I'm gonna speak Tagalog right after this okay so first time po kasi na live stream to so uh, for those who are Filipinos out there um magtatagalog ako mostly I'll try my best and then also um you can ask in Bisaya or in Tagalog but please I hope na okay na sa inyo mag, uh, mag, mag uh, English ako minsan kasi hindi po ako Tagalog and Ayun. Uh, medyo late ako kagayon sa live stream dahil sa I was waiting for the neighbors to you know, quite lay low with the noise. Kasi wala akong mic. Uh, this is my first time. She's gonna try out the live stream. So hopefully, okay tayo ngayon. If you have any problems, let me know through the chat, uh, the chat, chat, chat box area or something. So, uh, in this video, we're gonna answer the common questions asked or frequently asked question or facts by people who are commenting on my videos if this is your first time ever to watch my videos na hindi mo pa na watch yung how to apply for a US visa ko sorry if you haven't watched my videos on how to apply for a US visa my experience on um, US visa uh, US tourist visa interview and my mistakes video please go and watch that one before watching this live because all the comments there are playing passing by so you're gonna hear that noise every now and then because I live in an island where there's an airport so my passenger is na ang mga noise um, anyway so we're gonna answer the questions on those videos in this live stream Ayon. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of you know, basic or common or polit ulit na tinatanong sa akin. Not only sa comment section ng videos ko, but also sa, ano, sa Facebook chat. So, um, don't be afraid to send me a message on Facebook chat. Don't be afraid to um, go to my fan page. Uh, if you want to chat with me live, uh, I do reply to your messages, guys. I do try my best. Because my day job ako, so this is not my, you know, full-time job kind of thing. So my day job ako, I have to take care of my clients. And then when I, I, I like, I'm, 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 what, freeze, uh, what? Brain freezing with work, you know, over, I just want to take a break. I answer on, uh, I check my Facebook, so that's when I reply to you guys, message your messages so yun um if you're if you want to chat with me uh go to uh, look for exotic philippines travel blog na fan page don't po kayo mag chat sa I, um, I, I i can't say i always check that fan page but i do <laughs> at least get notification from that fan page avoid the instagram but kasi hindi ko alam minsan na may may messages na pala may mga messages kasi sa instagram di ko alam mga uh, ilang almost 10 na ata ang hindi ko na reply and I just you know recently replied to all, to all of them <laughs> tapos parang ilang buwan na so ayun uh, pasensya na sa mga nang message sa akin sa Instagram hindi ko na reply yan ayun so um again okay, I have to pagpasensya niyo kung makikita niyo ang aking kamay because I'm using my phone right now so in this video, we're going to talk about the U.S. tourist visa application because uh, actually on the September 9th, it will be the anniversary of the day that I was brokenhearted by the U.S. Embassy because 
um, that's uh, September last year was the last year was it? Yeah, uh, was the time I applied for the U.S. tourist visa and I was denied. So if you're looking for someone who was approved, it's not available, right? But my mom got approved. Uh, kasabay kami na, na, na interview, but ako na deny yung mom ko na approve. So yun. So yung question and answer ito. So ayun. Uh, yeah, we're gonna answer all the questions on the comment section sa videos ko. But if you are watching live, please ano, uh, comment it so as we go along. So, let's go first. Uh, don't forget pala guys na mag-subscribe kayo sa channel na to. Since uh, we, 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 we will talk about, well, I'll try to talk about frequently sa mga ano, yung about tourist tourist US tourist visa and other visas I'm gonna try to have other visas as well because I think traveling to other countries before applying for uh, non visa free countries like in South Korea you have to apply for visa like Japan um it will help na meron ka ding naka may visa ka na sa ibang bansa na medyo maluwag yung pagkuha ng visa. Kagaya ng China na meron na ako ng visa ng China pero per entry kasi yun yung binabayaran mo. So, pag gusto mo one entry ka dito lang babayaran mo. Tapos, pag gusto mo in a year, dalawa, ganito ang babayaran mo. So, ayun. Uh, different kasi din yung every country. So, hopefully, we will have more discussions of different visas on this channel. So, if you're interested, please subscribe to this channel. If you will, uh, after a few minutes, you'll, you know, see na this is very helpful for you. Please, do share this video. Okay? So, um, ayun, um, let's talk about the step one, uh, which is the TS. 160 form so remember we have uh, four steps first one is ds 160 form the second is payments and then the third is scheduling and the fourth is the u.s visa interview so we're gonna talk about first or we're gonna answer the questions on you uh, on us on ds 160 form questions so i've, I've actually made a screenshots of those questions and my expiration po ba ang DS-160 hindi ko po alam kung meron expiration to be honest but I suggest if you're not yet ready to you know finish the application let's just let the airplane you know, pass ayun so subscribe na kayo guys habang ano pinapa lipat ko muna yung plano sa ibabaw ng ano roof ayun so again, uh, if you're not yet sure, na you know, you'll go for the, the the tourist visa in the US, don't apply or don't fill up the form muna. I mean, that can just wait. Uh, you can do it later if you're really sure you feel you really really want to do it. Uh, just do it when you are sure about it because you pag yung 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 DS-160 kasi nakaka-stress na siya kasi yung information tapos yung the way pagka-ask sa DS-160 parang oh, oh my god ganito pala so nararatal ka na so minsan kaya ako yung um, I think I'll just answer that one okay? kasi may nagtanong dyan about sa uh, yung arrangement okay so I don't know if there's an expiration but I suggest na later ka na lang mag-apply or mag-fill out ng DS-160 form pag sure ka na talaga na mag-apply ng US tourist visa. Next question. Hello. Ito. Hello. Sabi ni Sunshine Vendeville. Hello. My, pla my plan. My family is planning to apply for US visa and I already did and I already did their DS-160 application forms but upon checking them all over again there was a mistake. Uh, it must for it is my first time applying i know that i cannot change the encoded no, things that i that i encoded but can i make another one again just to correct my own mistake uh, uh sunshine uh hindi ko po alam actually sa interview uh, anong mistake depende siguro sa mistake mo so kung pwede naman later na lang 
I think sa step one sa USB sa interview, they will ask you if there are any corrections sa form But um, if I think it doesn't matter if you should if you make a new one. So I, I guess making a new one would be totally fine. So gumawa ka na lang bago tapos yun ang yung DS-160 form na number na yun eh, yun yung i-remember mo tapos yun yung i-print mo wag yung may mali diba? tapos ito sabi ni Angel Angelicwish Angelicwish 24 Hi! My advice ka po ba for freelancers working at home Pips, eh, one of those. Kung ano ang ilagay sa applications employment part. Thank you. Very informative nito. You're welcome. I really have, uh, I really get a lot of comments na na ano. Very informative daw yung videos ko. Salamat naman. Kasi yung pain, yung sakit sa na, na dulot sa akin pag magawa ko lang yung video na to. Worth it. <laughs> diba? So, um, sa akin, freelancer din ako. I work from home. So, ang nilagay ko is self-employed. Kasi hindi naman tayo employed sa... Technically, hindi tayo employed sa, sa isang company. Right? So, um, I also have clients here in the Philippines. And technically, I am a consultant. So, I'm not employed by the company. I was just, you know, kanang, kanang, nagbisaya. Consultant na, sorry, I'm sweating. Wala ang aircon kasi dito. Ayan. Uh, wala kasi, ano, yung parang employee and employer relationship. So, hindi employed. So, ang nilagay ko is self-employed. Hindi naman ako retired. Bakit pa? Para mag-retired. So, ang nilagay ko self-employed. Tapos, um, sa sa position ang nilagay ko noon that time is freelance SEO specialist so you can just put SEO specialist na lang tapos sa interview sabihin mo na yung details about being a freelance ayun so next question from oh my god uh, hello kana in america hello hana sana uh, sana po mabasa niyo ito okay binabasa ko na Kapag ba nakapag-submit na ng application pero may mali sa document mo pero hindi ka pa naman nakabayad, pwede kayang mag-apply ulit. Since hindi naman 'yon i- pwede since hindi naman pwedeng i-edit 'yon. Yes. Excuse me. Yes, you can edit that one. Ayo, you can make a new one na lang. Since hindi ka pa nag uh, hindi mo pa 'yon ginamit yung DS160 code mo to make a payment on your schedule. So, pwede pa. So, yan. Kumawa ka na lang bago na DS-160. From Kat... <laughs> Talaga, I'm sweating na. Ay, na. Hello! From Katrina de la Cruz. Ask ko lang po kung pwede bang engage ang ilagay ko sa marital status sa DS-160. I think this was... Uh, she sent the comment twice to different videos. Um, so... Um, the status there are like single, married, widowed. I think that's low long. I, I'm not sure, ha? So, ate, since engage ka pa, hindi ka pa kasal. So, technically, single ka pa. So, pag walang option dun na engage, so, technically, <laughs> so, the, the, technically, so, dapat, ang piliin mo is single kasi hindi ka pa married. Diba? So, single, it doesn't mean na wala kang boyfriend, kagaya ho. <laughs> it doesn't mean na um, NS, ano man term na no boyfriend's NBSB. If NBSB lang yung application, ay yung pagka, ano, ano yun? Ano, ano pagkasabi na? Nag-a-apply nag lang yun sa NBSB o yung mga walang boyfriend. Hindi po, ah, uh, in, in pag single meaning hindi ka pa kasal. So kahit may boyfriend ka ng isang katuta, single ka pa rin hanggang hindi ka pa nagpakasal sa kahit anong simbahan o sa sa judgment o sa ano sa sa mayor. Ano tawag doon? Ha, civil wedding. Uh, you're technically single. 
So, ayan. So, single ka pa ate. Hindi. Kung pag walang option na engage. Okay? Airplane. Landy. Hello. How? What's your name? I can't. Is your name in, what's that, Korean? Okay. From, next question from Max Tiles. Hi po, tanong ko lang po kung anong paper po yung ginamit niyo para iprint po yung appointment letter or confirmation page. Short bond paper po ba or A4? Um, sa akin, <laughs> mix mix na yung ano yung papers kasi yung binili ko is short bond paper tapos yung parang ilang pieces lang. Akala ko magkakasya kasi tapos yung ate ko may pinadala lang documents ang dami. Kasi yung mga pang statement, yung letters, tapos yung pages pa ng passport niya to show na talagang um, she have the uh, working visa there. So, ayun. Um, she uh, scanned all the pages on her passport. So, ang dami pala. So, I have to print uh, the official documents like the S-160, the schedule, Churva, sa sa short bond paper then the uh, you know documents the supporting documents sa long bond paper so it doesn't really didn't really say kung anong paper mo ipiprint they didn't say anything about that pero short long A4 okay lang kung anong meron ka okay na yun next is from Marianne hello po maitatanong sana ko about sa DS-160. Mag-a-apply kasi parents ko na tourist visa. Dalawang DS-160 ba ang gagawin nila? Thank you! Yes! Because um, yung DS-160 form is an application form. So, uh, pag nag-a-apply ka, hindi na, kasi mag-asawa kayo, one, pay, one lang yung biodata nyo, one lang yung application form nyo. Kasi sa bio, sa bio, sa this one sixteen they'll ask for your gender, they'll ask for the birthday. So pag if you mean dalawang tao for one DS one sixty form, so which birthday ang ilalagay mo, which gender ang ilalagay mo. So yes, one for each person, kahit bata matanda, one for each person. Kasi nag-apply nga yung per tao, tapos babayaran mo per tao. Ayun. From Yoli Tan. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Totoo ba na wala na US Embassy sa Pinas? Ayun, nakalimutan ko na i-discuss uh, from the very beginning. I should have said this one. Um, it, well, I should remember where it's sure, sure, sure. Ayun. Um, I actually tweeted uh, the, at the US Embassy Manila. Kasi, yun nga, um, may na nagtanong sa akin ito, kung wala na ba yung US Embassy dito sa Philippines? Wala na ba ang US sa Philippines? Meron pa. Technically, hindi sila alas kahit ano mangyari siguro. Unless, makakagulo sobra sobra dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, hindi naman. So far, for the Philippines is great. Nothing really, you know, bad happening other than just politics, you know, uh, just words by politicians. <laughs> Yun lang talaga. I mean, for those na hindi pa umuwi sa Pilipinas, ang sarap na Pilipinas ngayon. Um, so, I tweeted them just to make sure na official. Alam ko na andito pa sila. Yung iba kasi, akala nila, wala na yung, 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 yung US Embassy. So, na-chika na, na umalis na yung yung US Embassy dito. Wala nang consul, no more visa for, for the Filipinos, yung ganon. So, I tweeted them, uh, I said, Hey, US Embassy, uh, Philippines, a number of my viewers in my YouTube video on application of, ano ba itong tinitweet ko? Uh, video on application of US visa are worried that you're shutting down and they can't apply anymore. Told them that you're not a different class of visa visa is viral. Can you confirm? And just in case they doubt, they have doubts on me. So, nag-reply naman si US Embassy Manila. Yan na. Ah. Makikita nyo ba? Official yun na. Ah. Di pa kikita. Pero ito. Ang tweet nila. Hi, Agigil. Yes, my Twitter. If you wanna follow me on Twitter, it's 
Twitter slash Agigil. A G I G I L. So hi Agigil, thank you for reaching out. We we have answered some of the question about the closure of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service or USCIS, Manila Field Office. So, eto pinadala nila. Ito yung official na pinos nila. So I just wanna share it with you guys. So yung yung mawawala so meron pa dito ang US Embassy yung mawawala lang yung type ng uh, visa application yun yun mm, immigration so kung mag mag immigrate ka na doon di ka na dito sa Manila I guess you're be, someone will process someone should process your application in Chicago sa pagkakahit hindi ko ha I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on this. By the way, guys, I'm not an expert on US visa application. And all I'm just sh sharing here is my experience on application for a US visa. I'm not also working for the US embassy. Uh, it, they, they even denied me for, for the visit. Just I just want to see my nephew, my first ever nephew. And that they even denied me. So... You know, some of your questions, cause if you think my chance, a whole unit. I don't know, guys. I don't work. I don't do this professionally. Okay. Anyway, um, what does the closure of the USCIS field office in Manila mean for the U.S. Embassy? The U.S. Embassy in the Philippines, including its consular section, remains open. So, meaning na accept pa rin sila ng interview. For more information, okay, never mind. Ayun. For petition pala yung, yung, uh, yung nawala. Kasi parang slowly ginagaya nila yung ibang um, countries na pag-apply, the way pag-apply ng uh, tourist visa. Uh, pero ngayon, yung tourist visa application remain pa rin as what I have uh, done last year still the same so no changes other than they've requested for you to give your facebook a link so that they can share uh, check your account i mean don't, don't give the password i mean they just want to check your profile i guess uh, yeah You're not just facebook by the way it's all your social media accounts as far as i know so i'm sitting now okay tada grabe guys Para sa kinabukasan ng Pilipinas. Okay. So again guys, andito pa rin yung U.S. Embassy Manila. They are still accepting application for U.S. Tourist Visa. Ang nawala lang dito kasi iba na yung pag-process ng petition. Uh, actually, I've heard na may isa pa na visa type. Nakalimutan ko. May isa pang visa type na ano na via mail na lang pag-apply. Like, if dito, uh, pag dito din sa Cebu, may, may Korean embassy, South Korean embassy, din, may South Korea embassy din dito kasi sa Cebu. Pag mag-apply lang ka lang, you just have to drop by, you drop by, drop your uh, documents and leave it. They will give you a schedule on when you will uh, pick it up. Then that will be the only time you'll know who approved ka or hindi. So no interview. You, all you have to do is um, provide the documents they want to to get, and you know your letter of explanation of if there are some documents that you can provide. So yun, uh, there. I think the U.S. is slowly turning into that one na via mail na lang. Because as far as I know, sa Manila yung ba mail lang kayo. Ayun. Asa na tayo? Asa na yun? Ang question. Ayan. So, I hope you'll tan. Meron pa din dito po ang US Embassy. Yung nawala lang yung uh, petition. Iba na ang process na application. So, from Ashley Atuban. Abelier, Abel, Abelera? Abelera. Is this applicable for 15 years old? Yes. Kahit a toddler, you'll have to also make a DS-160 form. You'll also have to pay for it for the kid. So, per person po yan. 
uh, per person po yung application form, per person po yung bayad. Uh, yes, asasama po dapat yung, yung mga nag-apply sasama sa loob para ma-interview, makita ng konsul. From Meryl, Mar- Marlene, and Kyle. Hello po, sa katanga ko na ako. <laughs> Bisaya, okay. Hello po, sa katanga na ako. Yun na nakong bayad ang B2 visa sa BPI bag off na fill up ang DS-160. Wala, one DS-160 form. Bugo kayo. Okay na ba ni? Okay na kayo. Actually, um, uh, she's asking pala. I'll just have to translate this one na. Kasi ang ginawa niya, nag-pay siya bago siya nag- uh, bago siya nag- na-fill up ng DS-160 form. I actually made it- I made that step switch. Ka, ka, you can actually switch it yourself. If gusto mo magbayad ng mauna, bago ka gumawa ng form. Or if you prefer my steps, na gumawa ka muna ng form, ta- bago ka magbayad. Kasi ginawa ko yan na mauna muna yung DS-160 form. Kasi meron iba na nagtiting twice after they see na yung ano, yung 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 mga questions sa DS-160 form. They don't wanna apply anymore. So, pag nakabayad ka na, no more refund na yan. So, if you wanna change your mind, you still, I still wanna give you the, 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 the chance to back out. So, that's why nga, pinauna ko yung pag fill out mo ng DS-160 form bago ka magbayad. Para kung mag fill out ka ng DS-160 form, tapos ayaw, ayaw mo na mag, mag-apply, uh, you change your mind for some reason, okay lang. Kasi hindi ka palang bayad. Pag nagbayad ka na, hindi na ata nila may refund yan eh. So, fix na ang final decision ka na. Push mo yan te pag nagbayad ka na. So, yun. So, okay lang yan. Marlon and Kyle. Um, hello po, from Aprils, Aprils, A-P-R-I-L-Z, Aprils. Hello po, do you need to upload any documents at DS-160 like COA, 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 COE, uh, bank statement, etc. Or you, or you, what, you only need to bring this during the interview. Um, wala, other than your picture, yun lang ang kailangan mo i-upload sa DS-160 form. So, uh, of course, the information that you need kung saan ka magsistay, kung ano reason ng pag-visit mo. Um, there's also a part na mag-question ang itinerary mo. So, if you already have that one, uh, you can also encode it on the DS-160 form so that they can check. Um, as for us, we didn't even give our itiner- the itinerary. We didn't also even give the... They didn't even ask in the interview for the itinerary. Pero... Meron kaming kasabay doon na na-interview, hiningan siya na itinerary. So, uh, best if you if you can prepare the itinerary, uh, you should. Kasi sa asa sa amin, uh, na state na ng ate ko na sa la- mag-letter siya na ano, sa pinadala niya sa amin. Pero hindi naman binasa ng konsul, ano ba yun? <laughs> Ang daming documents din nila ko, pero kahit isa walang binasa. So, sa letter ng ate ko, she already mentioned na anong uh, saan kami niya dadalhin. Like, she she been dreaming for us, for me, to, no, actually for both of us. Kasi wala siyang kasama doon sa US na nakaka-relate how fanatic we are uh, on Harry Potter. So, she been to, um, ano ba, Universal Orlando. Sabi niya, super, nag, yung uh, butterbeer siya, tapos yung husband niya, boyfriend niya at that time, di makalit kasi di nagwa-watch ng Harry Potter. Tapos sabi niya, I wish, you know, Gigi, Gigi kasi nickname ko, I wish Gigi is here. I mean, you, I will be blown away. I mean, I've seen videos kasi, kaya na-hurt ako masyado sa pag-deny sa akin ng visa. Until now. <laughs> na, kasi, I've been watching the, the videos. I've been, you know, expecting na um, I'll be able to make this video on uh, my first time experience on Universal Studios. I'll be able to see Harry Potter, or the Hogwarts thing. And, and then, <laughs> so, yun. Uh, kaya, nasakta na ako na sobra by US Embassy. Kayo talaga, US Embassy kayo. So, again, uh, no need, you don't need the past statement sa DS-160 form. 
you can you'll just need it on later on the interview not bring it they did they do not require it for you to bring but best if you can Ayun. i hope i was able to answer that question uh next is from lexa cortez sis hello just a question b1 or b2 ba ang ilalagay ko kung magbabakasyon ka lang for two weeks sa us yung b2 kasi is 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 exactly for tourists yung purpose mo lang talaga is for tourists yung b1 b2 is medical or tourism yung b2 is tourism lang tapos b1 or b2 is medical or tourism b1 is medical so sa akin yung yung uh, visa uh, yung pag-apply ko i applied for b2 so tourist uh, visa nang talaga yung mother ko she's old so um i got the feel i don't know i just wanna think ahead na mas advanced yung technology doon especially in the medical field sa US so if she's you know simbako lang palayo uh, ano sa Tagalog yun uh, anyway if just in case sana hindi na she'll get sick that she, you know the, the Philippine you know, medical experts can't do anything but the US can she can enter the US anytime so she applied for the B1 B2 I applied for the B2 and I've got denied she was approved I knew it uh, yeah kung kung bagets ka pa and if you don't if you think you don't need the medical visa or medical what do you call that medical rights <laughs> I don't know uh, if you don't see the medical thing that you, that you need the medical you know aspect or the, the, the technology of the US just go for the B2 na lang if you're tourist lang talagang purpose mo B2 ka na lang Kasi I, I, I've, I've also heard during the interview na the, the visa that you're trying to apply for is, a, is wrong. So how can that be a mistake? Diba? So, siguro, I don't know. Uh, it, it, she, he applied for a tourist visa tapos work pala ang gusto niya yung puntaan doon. So, ayun. At saka guys, huwag kayong mag-apply ng tourist visa tapos mag-work pala kayo doon. Nasisira ang pangalan ng Pilipino. Not only that, <laughs> ang kagaya ko na totoong tourism lang talaga ang gusto. Aling laga-laga lang. May nakakapunta kasi sa kalukuhan ng iba. Okay, kagaya na yan. Next na naman ng Taiwan ang free, uh, visa-free entry ng lahat ng mga Pilipino sa Taiwan. Kasi, in-extend nila kasi, maganda yung record, walang nag-TTMT. Ayan. Pag, alam nyo, pag nagtatrabaho kayo doon na illegal, mas lower yung salary nyo. Mas higher din yung ang risk. Kasi pag, pag nalakip kayo, there's a high probability you will be banned from the country. Tapos sila pa yung pangalan na pag ba? Ayun natin yan. So, next is, ayun, wala na DS-160 questions. Let me make sure, ha? Huh? Oh, meron pa ito. Ma'am, paano po ba kung wala akong kakilagra doon sa US? Okay lang po ba? Kasi sa DS-160 form, uh, they will ask kung sino ang mag, mag, if sponsored, sino magpabayad, if may kakilala ka doon. Uh, actually, sa, ah, so, sa family ko, by blood related. Ang dami. Dami ko ng relative doon. Pero, I just wanna, you know, my sister kasi hindi naman kami close ng mga relative ko doon so kung meron man uh, yung kilala ko talaga yun lang hi yung hi lang sa facebook yung ganun lang happy birthday tita ganun lang wala talaga yung chika everyday yung sister ko lang ka chika ko everyday hi na not even everyday at least once a week nag chat chat kami so, okay lang, guys, na pag wala kayong halala sa Amerika, mag-apply kayo. No problem. Uh, ayun. I think we run out na of questions. Yes. For the DS-160. Wala na. Okay, let's move on. So, again, guys, 
um, yung DS160, you can interchange it with the payment. If, if gusto mong magbayad mo na bago ka mag-fill up, okay lang. But, if yung type ka ng tao na matatakot ka, tapos you'll back out, you try to fill up the DS160. Libre naman din na wala namang bayad yung pag ano, pag tapos ayaw mong mag-continue. Ayun, okay? Are we still is the live I think we freeze did we freeze oh, okay we're back Ayun, um, airplane okay I'm on an airplane Ayan, pasensya na sa airplane, okay? So, the next thing we will gonna talk about, pasensya na ng mainit ba? As in, kapit mahal. So, next thing we're gonna talk about is the payment. The second step is the payment. So, my question is tayo sa payment. Uh, wait, panapin ko muna ha. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, here we go. From Jacqueline G. I just checked this new video uh, one month ago pa lang. Hirap makapasok sa MRV. Slip na yan. Sis, mostly online. Oh, oh, mahirap. Ano ba new set na makukuha ang MRV, MRV slip? Through BPA Bank. Sorry, excuse me. Ayun. Ano ba ang new set na makukuha ang MRV slip through BPA Bank? Kasi gusto ko mama kasi gusto ko mama ko mismo bumunta ng BPEP pinas doon magbayad ayoko sa online magbayad sino nakatry ako Mag magbayad ako sa BPI ayoko rin yung sa online kasi uh, uh, I think I tried it online I, I tried the payment online but I preferred the, ano, the, to go to BPI instead na lang so pumunta kami ng BPI yung, yung sinabi mong site yung step 3 na link ko Mahirap. Oo, yung time na yun, mahirap. Pero try lang, try lang. Huwag kang uh, pumunta sa ibang site. Kasi yun na talaga yung site na, ano eh, ng US Embassy. So, pag sa iba ka kumuha, so most likely, hindi tatanggapin. Tapos, yung, yung uh, pinigay ko na link, yun talaga yung legit na galing. Kasi tinanggap yun sa akin, di ba? Yun yun yung ginamit ko eh. So, uh, yun na gagamitin mo. Just have patience. Okay guys, uh, wag nang manap ng ibang link kasi baka maano kayo, mas scam. Diba? Wag natin, wag nang maghanap ng ano, easy way. You know, Pag, minsan talaga yung, to be honest, mahina yung site or yung hindi advanced na yung ano, up or hindi updated yung website na US Embassy. But, ay, what, who are we to complain? Diba? Uh, anong hinanap to? Ah, okay. Payment. We're looking. Kasi nag-color ako eh sa mga comments. Okay. Ito. From Goody Ra... Ragazinski. There is a mga sis. Wala may BPI. Asa man ko pwede magbayad. Wala problema. <laughs> so she's asking kung kasi walang BPI daw sa kanila. Saan daw siya magbabayad? Um walang ibang kasing bank na tumatanggap na payment ng ano ng US Embassy yung BPI talaga lang na bank so it's either you pay online if you want pero kung walang walang BPI sa inyo go to the nearest BPI uh, other city baka sa other city doon na kayo magbayad so, grabbing effort yan. Pupunta, wato pa maglaing ko an, laing town, na uh, para magkawag bayad sa ano, tourist visa. So, BPI lang. Sorry kayo, BPI lang dyan. Or online. Uh, next is, hi, uh, from Annaline Amper. Hi po, as lang ako, if wala po akong BPI, paano po ako magkababayad? You don't need a bank account on BPI to be able to pay uh, the US tourist visa um, you can just go to the bank uh, remember the step 3 link uh, print that one bring that one to, 
two copies. Um, then go to the kiosk and then show the paper and that's it. You don't need a bank account to pay to be able to pay. Um Papa. <laughs> mga ligo na lang. Kasabang, bisaya na kasabang ito mga ligo. Okay, from Mark Jason uh, Anyo Nuevo. Uh, paano ka magbayad sa BPI po? Eh, wala man nag-message sa akin na magbayad. Hindi, walang mag-message sa'yo, kuya. Uh, Mark, walang mag-message sa'yo na mag magbayad ka na. Hindi po sila pialitin na ano, napaka- quick magsingil lang bayan pero sa serbisya babush di ba so um you have to go to the step 3 na link tapos pag nagload yon parang paper yon kasi ipapakita yung page yon ipiprint mo two copies tapos punta ka ng BPI pag BPI ka magbabayad yon ang gagawin mo or panoorin mo ulit yung video kasi minsan uh, especially guys before if you're not watching if you're still confused watch the video again especially the how to apply for us tourist visa video ano ulitin mo na ulitin hangat hangat my cats mo kasi i've arranged everything on that video i prepared every details i tried my best to edit out the not so important stuff so much chika color lang kagaya nito chika color lang i edited it out i removed it para importante yung mga importante lang na details ang um, nasa video so everything I stay, I stay. I say from the time that I started talking about the, the important things you need to know, yun importante na ma makinig kayo. So, uh, pag din niyo para na gets, replay it again. Ang uh, madami na po ang uh, message sa akin na pinaulit-ulit lang nila ni watch yung video ko. And they get an approved visa. Oh, kapakita ko sa inyo yung message nila. Mamaya, so, stay tuned. Uh, ito, so, Samantha Sepetsu. Sepetsi. Magkano po yung tur... <laughs> Ate, magkano ang, 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 ang tourist visa po sa USA? Ate, watch the video. Ulitin mo lang. Andun nate. Everything is there, Ate. Uh, Kasi if I answer that one, it's a long story pa kasi. I'll have to say, I have to explain it again. Just like how I explained it in the video. So, uh, we're live now for 42 minutes. So, let's conserve time. Tapos na sa step 2 pa lang tayo. So, ito. From Jan Pink. Mom, 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 pwede ba na doon na ako magbayad? ng visa fee sa loob ng embassy ate no payment no schedule no schedule no interview therefore therefore dapat mong bayad bago ka magpag schedule bago ka ma-interview ayun steps nga basta steps sundin di ba ayun so no no payment again pag walang bayad walang schedule sa interview walang interview so, bayad muna bago pa schedule. Bago pa schedule, magbayad muna. <laughs> ano ba yun? Ano ba yun? Ano sinabi ko? Uh, ano pa? Wala na. Okay. Let's go. Uh, again guys, just a recap. Um, payment. Uh, as of right now, I'll just answer this quickly na lang the question. As of right now, the payment is, or the U.S. visa fee is $160. But the equivalent peso amount for that one, you have to watch the video. Kasi medyo long story yet. So watch the video. Muna. Every life. Medyo ano siya. Chape. Okay, let's just. Ayun. Okay, balik na. So, next, pag big ad ako, nang, nagbabago ako ng banner na medyo nakahang siya. So, let's talk about the schedule. Ang daming questions sa schedule. Mas madami yung interview day. Whew. So, 4 minutes. Of, 
Pasensya na sa luho kasi ano, wag na kami mag-comment sa ano ko, mukha ko kasi gabi na. Gusto ko na matulog actually kaya na medyo gusto ko sana ganina maaga 8:30 nag-live ako pero maingay yung neighbor ko. Eh. So, ayun, nag-wait ako ng 9 tapos may nag-error pa. Ayun, natagalan. So, let's talk about we're looking for kasi kinukuluran ko 'yun, oh, kuluran. Ano eh no, na color. So we're looking for the yellow colored icon pila pala. Okay, from Maluhan Dayan. Hi! Oh, bisaya na yun. Ito. Globat yun ako. Ito. Oh my god! Ito, okay. Sorry, nag-globat yung phone. Hindi pala naka-charge. Kanina pa yan. <laughs> Sorry. So from Malu, handa yan. Bisaya ito si ate. Kasi matag ko na ito nagko-comment sa video. Hi! Ask ko lang, ask, ask ko lang, ask lang ang tako if mga pila ka weeks kumatagan ko schedule or interview for tourist visa. Ako magpili si schedule or sila ang muhatag sa available schedule. Salamat kayo. Okay, ate Malu. Ate or Malu? Because some people don't like to be called that. Eh. So, first question. Ma, uh, pila ka weeks kumataga ano schedule. So, for the available na schedule. Ah, so, so, she's asking pala, sorry. She's asking if uh, when or how long siya mabibigyan ng schedule. Tapos, siya ba pipili? O, oh, bibigyan siya na schedule? Ayun. So, ang, ang answer dyan uh, on first question is matagal na kayo. How long? So, yung depende lang po kung anong available. Actually, we up uh, I, I, I paid on July or August. No, July. I paid on July. Tapos, I finished in one week, ha? I finished the five steps in one week. Uh, five steps. Uh, the three steps pala kasi my yo, this one's 60 I finish in one day then the next few days uh, nagbayad ako then mga two days they schedule ako so yun kaya one week um for ano nga yun? so nag, nagpa schedule ako July pero may available na so depende lang kung mayroong available 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 na spot. So, if Ju sa July na, na sa tan na yun, parang may, na, may available na sa July na interview. So, kung meron ta lang talagang available na spot, pwede ka magpa-interview bukas kung merong available bukas. Kung merong available next week, hmm, pwede ka magpa-interview next week. So, depende na. Makikita mo yun sa website nila eh. Kung ilang slots uh, yung may yung obvious or yung, uh, anong Tagalog dyan? Hindi yung blurry yung date. Yung talagang klaro yung date. Yun yung ang may slap. Tapos pag-click mo dun sa website, sa step 3, ano, pag-click mo sa date, makikita mo sa baba yung time slots na available. Tapos ilang, ilang person ang pwede. So, depende yan. So, kung example, kasi pwede ako nag-move ako from 8am, pumunta ako ng 9am. So, pwede yung mabikant na yung 8 a.m. So, anyone can grab my spot from 8, 8 a.m. Kasi nasa 9 p.m. 9 a.m. na ako. So, depende talaga yan. So, if you want earlier, you have to wait. But, if you want to secure, kasi I've heard na yung iba dito. Airplane! <laughs> let's, let's let it pass mo na. Sayo mo na tayo. Intermission. So, ayun. So, so, ano, saan na nga tayo? So, ayun. Um, depende yan kasi kung may nag, nag, can, nag, nag, schedule. For example, sa amin, nag, schedule ako. So, you can grab the spot. Pero, I've heard kasi recently na puno talaga yung schedule. So, may tawag tayo na in demand or peak, peak hours, peak time, peak season ng, um, 
uh, ng travel, ng, ng sales. So, sa USMC peak season ng interview. So, I think peak season yun kasi madami ang nagsabi na sa akin na matagal yung available spot. Excuse me. So, may nagsabi sa akin na 2 months pa after yung available spot na for interview. So, depende lang talaga kung merong available o wala. Kasi I think for for a day, they'll they say na, okay, f- ano, 2,000 lang interviewed for today or 1,000 lang people ang interview today. Ganon lang. So, depende sa kanila. So, you'll just have to watch out for it. But, I suggest na mag-book na lang or mag-schedule na lang on a certain day that you can. For example, if two months pa ang ab- latest available, just schedule that one. Kasi pwede na ka naman magpa-reschedule ng, pag example, pag-check mo tomorrow, may open na slot in two weeks. Then, reschedule it na two in two weeks. ba? Kasi libre naman ang pa-reschedule. So, you have no problem. So, sila ba ang magbibigay o ikaw magpipili? Ikaw ang magpipili kasi kagaya sa amin, lilipat pa kami ng Manila. So, kailan kami, hindi, ako na mag-decide kung kailan ako lilipat ng Manila para ma-interview ako. So, ayun. I hope I was able to answer the question. Next, ah, uh, from Angelica, Angelica Mirasol. Hi, Miss G. Hi, Angelica. Question lang po. Yes. <laughs> when paying ba sa BPI, does it take 2 to 3 days bako, bago mag-clear? And until the payment is clear, di pa mabigyan schedule? Uh, actually, this is one of the um, parang narattle sila. <laughs> kasi nga, um, ito yung process nila kasi sa pagkakalam ko. Pagbayad mo sa BPI, they have to compile every payments for the US Embassy. At the end of the day, pag close na, I, I think they have a cut off time. Uh, let's say if cut off time nila for. So they compiled everything sa main, main office nila sa Manila na near sa US Embassy. Maybe if they do that or they do it, you know, virtually. Na they'll compile everything na payments from uh from, from us guys. So they'll the the BPI will then send it to the US Embassy. So the US Embassy have to manually check or maybe, you know, they do have their own process. So they have to encode it pa on their website. Na okay, ito C G but nagbayan na, pwede na siyang pas schedule. So, yun. Yun ang um, um, ang process nila. So, it takes them 24 to 48 hours to be able to clear, to be able to allow you na mag- mag-schedule ka na ng appointment mo for interview. So, don't be rattled kasi may nagmesesahan, Chi, di pa nang reflect sa website pa na to. Baka nascam ako sa link. No. Kalma lang. If nakapagbayad ka ng BPI, may resibo ka naman, di ba? Kaya two copies, one is for BPI, one is for you. So, ayun. Uh, may copy ka naman, you're good. Um, so, just wait for it. Kasi they have to also encode the, your receipt on the website. Tapos pag na-encode mo yung resibo mo sa step 3, yung scheduling na website. Sa, ano tawag yun? Uh, counselor or something on the website. Pag nag-match yung uh, MRV code mo or yung resibo na code mo sa, sa naka, na-encode na nila, it will be then automatically to be allowed to ano, to schedule an appointment. So, give them 24 to 48 hours. For us, mga na, the next day, yeah, 24 hours. If not, maybe less 24 hours, but it was the next day after I paid. So, give them 24 to 48 hours. That is 2 days. Yes, 2 to 3 days will be safe to say na no. To give them um, time to clear everything. To sa... Ano ba to? Saan na ba ako? Yellow. Ah, no, wait. Um... Okay, next question. Yellow, yellow, yellow. 
my uh, Michael Michelle Pelagio. Sis, pwede bang magkaibang email ang gamitin ko doon sa log out? Log in. <laughs> As sa pina pini apan pini final apan siguro. Kung appointment. Cons 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 nila isesend yung confirmation. Kanos ah. ah siguro kanos ah. So, she's asking if dif pwede bang different yung email na nasa DS160 at saka different yung sa step 3 na email. Um, I guess it will be okay. Kasi yung email match naman is yung DS160 number. But ideally, it would be best na the same yung gagamitin mo para just in case na you need one, you need something for this, you need also something for you need something for this and this hindi ka mag ano ka yung password dito ano ba password dito ano ba yung email ginamit ko dito ano ba yung email nalilito ka na so may everything one na lang pag example um, US visa isang email lang gamit mo for one person kasi sa kasi sa naman si mama ko may sariling email siya so iba pero sa step 3 sahan lang na account o oh, kasi group interview kasi so, ako lang nag-register, tapos in ko lang siya sa group interview. So, ayun. So, as much as possible, if ikaw lang, the same na lang para hindi ka malito-lito. For organization lang to purpose, ha? Pero I guess it will be okay naman pag if different. Ah, for Michelle again, sis, pwede bang maggawa ng sketch appointment ng Saturday? I don't know. It depends kung uh, merong available on Saturdays, may available on Sundays. Last year, meron namang Saturday kasi may mga batang may school. So, pero, but you can pull out if you're, if especially if you're from Manila. There are kids who were pulled out from the school to get interviewed. They were still in their uniform pa para ma-interview ng, ano, ng console. They, their parents got them out of the school muna for a few hours. So, that would be a problem for them, but a problem for us na hindi from Manila. So, another question from Dessa Refuerzo. Question po, paano po magpa-schedule? Uh, go back to the step 3 na schedule appointment link. And then, log in your details. And then, over here sa left side, uh, merong reschedule appointment. If you want to see the actual face, nandun sa how to apply, uh, how to apply for US tourist visa video, nandun pinakita ko dun. Watch ka lang ulit. From 10969 Vienna. Hi po, ask lang po ako if makapag schedule ka via online, for example, this June. Mga kailan ang date na yung schedule mo for US, for US visa interview. As what you said, nga nag schedule po kayo ng July, then September kayo na, na interview. So, it really takes two months. No. Actually, meron sa pag, uh, pag, pag, pag schedule ko ng appointment, there was an available schedule for interview a week after. A week. And, I think, ay, uh, third weeks at ako, or second week ng July, nag, nag finish ng all three steps. And then my last week of the month na available, at saka my August. Pero September pinili namin, kasi we have, my sister have to get up some documents, they did the bank statement, di ba? She need the, she, she didn't have the bank statement pa. So, she, she have to go to work, and the only free time na, na she can get the bank statement, go to the bank and get the bank statement, is on her day of, around August. So, if if we could we could actually do the ano the the interview for the next week, pero ah uh, dahil she she want us to be prepared sa papunta namin pa pa interview. We didn't decided na ano na lang September. So it was our decision. It's not not na wala available. Pero lately talaga may ano may nagsabi sa hana full yung this month next month ah uh, two months pa. Pero wala naman, may, minsan nag-open sila ng slot eh. So, you just to check it every now and then. Pag may available na na slot. Ayun. So, from ASDFGH 
Ah, ano ba to? Sa keyboard to eh, H D F G H D kanita, di ba? So, ilang months po ang interview na schedule for interview niyo sa intended travel date. So, yung na-interview kami September. Ang intended travel date namin is December 3. Eh, kasi naman ang sinabi lang namin na is tentative. At, uh, isa sa pagbasahin mo talaga, if you, please, if you are filling out the DS-160, be very attentive for, for every word it says. Okay? So, kahit yung small na text, basahin nyo kasi andun yung importante na details. So, pag uh, if sinabi na um, schedule, uh, travel date, date or date, uh, intended date to travel to the US. And then, tapos nung sa baba yun dyan, eh, may asterisk. Napaka-small lang na letters. It can be a tentative date if if you do, you're not sure yet one. Doon po. Ah, kung na... na nasa form na lahat ang question nyo. Di lang kayo nag at nagbabasa ng masyado ng details eh. So, ayun. Uh, ano nga yun? <laughs> so, it can be nga, if for example, nagpa-interview kayo ngayon, na-approve kayo ngayon, you can uh, fly right away kahit bukas pa. No, actually, <laughs> dapat ma-receive din muna yung passport nyo kasi iiwan nyo yung passport nyo sa embassy kasi tatakan nila ng US tourist visa. So, once you have the passport na with a US tourist visa, you can now fly out anytime to the US. Diba? Pero depende yan ha, pag, baka assuming kayo na ano, na, na, na 10 years visa agad. Okay? So, you must also check the details on your uh, passport kung anong visa minigay sa inyo and when are you allowed. I think it was immediate naman eh. Kasi uh, yung mom ko, di ba, intended travel date, ano naman ba itong mukha ko? So, di ba, intended travel date namin is December. Lumipad na siya ng November. Kasi excited na yung ate ko. Tapos pagpunta ng mama ko pag landi ng airport, umiiyak na yung ate ko. So, yun. Pwede po na, that not really, if you say December, December talaga kayo. Pwede naman mga a week before, a month before, pumunta na kayo dun. So, mga plan lang naman yun. Plans are not, you know, intended to be really, you know, made. It's just your way of, for me lang ha, a plan is just your road. Pero makita mo yung road, doesn't mean you have to follow it. Diba? Ika, pwede kang, okay, may road pa doon, pag, pag ganito, pa doon, bisaya na. May road pa ganito. Pero if it's your choice to, you know, to follow this road, or just to turn around, <laughs> it's just your choice, di ba? Just to, yung, instead of ganito, ang daan, it's your choice to go, like that. Di ba? So, yeah. Okay, next question. What I'm looking for is yellow. Okay, yellow. Okay, no more. So again, um, um common um common questions uh schedule is uh kailan kayo makapag matagal ba? Hindi naman matagal ko. Ano lang ang meron ano na available slot. You may change. You may reschedule it for free, guys. Nagahang naman tayo, so let's wait for a few seconds. Malal pa ba? So, let me search muna for the questions. Ang um, daming questions sa uh, ano, interview. Okay, here's from Westside TV 23. Hi, ma'am. Ano pa yung do's, do's, do's and don'ts during interview po sa US Embassy? Tsaka required po ba may pera ka sa bank account? Thanks po. Um, Those dogs don't wear slippers, don't wear sleeveless, uh, be presentable. Go, imagine na lang na you'll be going to a job interview. Tapos, oh, na, ano kayo, nangiligaw. You don't wanna wear slippers, di ba? So, be presentable, be look, be, be uh, at least pleasing to the eyes. Tapos, um, ano pa yung question eh? Required po ba may pera ka sa bank account? Yes. You should prove na you can support yourself, especially if you're paying, pag especially 
if ikaw magbabayad na trip mo sa US, paano nila malalaman kung ano, talaga masusuportahan mo ang sarili mo pag nasa Amerika ka na. Kasi again, bawal ka mag-work sa Amerika pag tourist visa. Kahit anong bansa, bawal mag-work kung tourist visa ka. Ilang, ilang tao na nagbibikiman ng mga kuno na ano, na ano ba, noisy ng ano, ng aso na ano ko, neighbor. Hindi ko yan aso ha. Ah, sana ta. So, ang dami na natutulfo. Ayun. Ang dami na itutulfo na agency ko, no? Na, na pinagpadala ng tao, mga kapwa Pilipino sa Korea. Tapos, hindi pinayagan ng ano, ng immigration natin na lumipad. Kasi illegal yan. <laughs> Tapos, baka nagagalit sila sa, ano, sa, sa officers natin, sa immigration officers natin. Bakit? may visa naman ako, tourist visa tapos na mag-work kayo doon, bawal sila ang pangalan natin, tapos pag may nangyari sa inyo hello, Mr. President this is all your fault, pick me up here tapos, FYI mas mahirap kayo hanapin pag tourist visa kasi walang record ang government na, example ako si G, dito naka-work assigned sa ano pag may nangyari sa inyo ah, alam ko kung saan naka-work si G ayun So, careful guys. Check nyo yung visa binigay sa inyo ng uh, agency ninyo or ng employer ninyo. Huwag kayong pumayag na mag-work under tourist visa. Kasi, you can be banned. You can have a bad record. And if before, nag-work kayo illegally sa example. Nag-tourist visa kayo sa Dubai, pero nag-work kayo sa Dubai. And then, you got kicked out of Dubai. You get bad sa Dubai. Kahit di ka kahit kahit di ka ano, kahit di ka na caught there. You were able to go home freely. Pero nakita sa record na nag-submit ka na yung resume or na-fill out ka sa DS-160 na ay nag-work ako do- sa Dubai na. Tapos nakita nila na tourist visa lang yung Dubai mo. Ah. Bakit nakapag-work ka? So most likely baka mag-work ka din sa US tapos tourist visa lang. So, careful with it, guys. Kaya, yung iba na di-deny din kasi sa mga bad history ninyo. Sa akin, hindi pa ako nag-work. Ilig-ilig din nga ako na once uh, before this year, once na ako nakapagpunta ng labas. Tapos, yung 10 years old pa ako. Tapos, the next time na ako nakapag ibang bansa is now. Na thir- and I'm already in my 30s. So, wala akong history na ganyan. Again, next question. May, may ans na, 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 may ans natives, na, natives, ano pa to? Wala, what if wala po akong work dito sa Philippines, pero meron pong mag-support sa akin going to the US? Pwede. Pwede, pwede po yun. Kasi yun naman ang nangyari sa akin eh, may nag-support sa akin yung ate ko. Technically, I'm unemployed, pero self-employed, technically I'm self-employed. And if, if you gonna ask if I can support myself going there, no, I can't afford that one. Hindi <laughs> ko afford yun. Yung ticket lang, uh, 600 to 1,000 dollars, what? Round trip. Tapos required yung round trip ticket. Hindi ko afford yun. So, yung ate ko ang mababayad actually sana sa akin. So, ayun. From Karin Chan, Karin Chan my Macy family. Hello. Hi ma'am. Paano if small business lang ako ah? Bisaya tayo. Na ako sari na ako na ako sarili yuta pero bago pa na ako napalit gani gina process pa title. Na pud ko 3 years old daughter strong test na ba ni para ma-approve ko. Ibilang nyo yung anak sa Philippines, that can be a strong ties. Pero kung ako na, ang saan nyo po pagtubag, kinsay ng bantay sa yung anak. Ay, Tagalog guys. <laughs> uh, so, no, she's asking if um, having a land title and a three years old daughter will be considered strong ties. So, my question is, is she going to leave her daughter? <laughs> Bakit na English ako? iwan ba niya yung anak niya dito sa Pilipinas o dadalhin niya? Kasi pag dadalhin niya, wala siyang strong ties. Diba? 
yung yung pagland title kasi pwede mo na maiwanan yun kasi di ba land lang naman yan if as long as the title is with you is under your name nothing change unless it's a business it's a business you need to manage di ba especially if the business is managed by you <laughs> so you really need people you need to supervise people di ba Bali, ang mag-sponsor sa ako, oh, ma'am, is friend na ako nga foreigner. Bali na ako savings. She mentions na, ma'am, sorry, I won't mention na lang for your safety. By the way, ma'am, married ako a uh, status ka, so bulag lang. Wow, tulfo na ni. <laughs> so, okay, um, I'm not sure how, how the, the console will see that. I'm not sure too. I'm, I don't do this professionally, but you know, anyone can try to apply for a visa. Um, maski pobre ka, ikaw pinag- Ay. Oh, that's not good. Those were my dogs. That, that one's chowder. They, they don't like na yung Ayo yung ganun. Ayo na lang may ano sa tao. Minsan sabi na ganun. So, a current John Macy family. I I don't know how to answer your question actually, but why not try? 'Di ba? Go and try to apply for tourist visa. It's not no, it's not, anyone can try. Kahit if you're poor, if you think you know, gonna if you're not confident but if someone is willing to pay for it, why not try? Kasi may, may yung, uh, may nag-message sa akin na uh, baguettes. Uh, 16 years old, she got a proof visa. She, she, she thanked me on Facebook. Kasi dahil sa video ko, <laughs> nakatulong daw. Uh, uh, wait, uh, hi, Asla, has, hi, oh sorry, di ko na screenshot ang name mo ha. Hi, ask ko lang, if nasa US Embassy ka na po, then hindi po masa standard nila yung quality ng picture mo. Uulit pa ba yung... Uulit po ba ng panibagong DS-160? May malapit po bang comp shop? Ang tuloy hindi. Pag-picture lang, pa-picture ka lang ulit doon sa loob mismo. May photo studio doon. Sa loob lang ng Embassy. May mga asherits doon na mga Pilipino. Sabihin mo lang na you need a new picture. Uh, tutulungan ka nila na kung saan. Tapos you go back and then submit your new picture. Yun lang. No need to print a new DS-160. Um, Chenica Enoch. Hi po. Paunsa ba? Pa, hi po. Paunsa ba? Ipala ko yung work. As of now. No properties. But nakapag-save po ako. Ako din. Yung same situation situation. Is there a chance ba na ma, ba nga ma-approve? Badly needed. Yes, everybody has a chance na ma-approve. Is, eh, I'll just leave you um, a tip later para mag-watch kayo ng whole video na to. Um, yeah. Everybody got a chance. Um, Kathy Riqueron. Hi, ma'am. In my case, being barangay official, ma-approve ka ako for tourist visa. Everybody got a chance. She's asking you that because she's a barangay official, ano, if, if, there, if there's a chance, may chance pa siya na makakuha ng tourist visa. Para sa akin, may talaga kahit sino may chance. Pero paan, pero bakit may marami sa atin na deny I will give you a tip later after the last question. Cherry may ba- ba- boweta. Pwede po ba na ang yung mag-sponsor ng trip? Ano po nga kailangan ng papers? Watch mo ulit yung video. Same na naman. Yung aunt sa'yo, sa akin, sister ko, sa case ng mama ko, anak niya, which is sister ko. So, anyone can sponsor your trip. So, it's a matter of, da-da-da-da-da, I will give, I will mention it at the end of this video. Um, asan pa? From Rose. Thanks for the detailed explanation. You're welcome. You speak English fluently. I don't think so. Uh, mali-mali lang nga akong English. I'm also a freelancer under Upwork. Whoa, I don't do Upwork. 
daming kompetensya sa upper. Does this mean slim? Does this mean slim ang chance ko to get visa? Marami akong kakilala na ano ha, na na freelancer. Nakakuha sila na ng tourist visa. It's just a matter of tarinidang. <laughs> watch it. Watch at the end of this video. Uh, from Farla Ferrer. Hi there. Just wanna ask paano kong walang work dito sa Pilipinas at and mag-apply ng tourist visa. Been to the US last 2016 under uh, for three months as a J1 visa. I mean, J1 J1 working. Ang um, pwede ba pwede kaya yan maging edge? Actually, if you have a visa before the US before uh, 20 other countries, especially to US, tapos good record ka, mas high probability. Para sa akin, I'm not saying this as an expert, I'm just saying this based on my observation. So, go! Apply, Farah! Go, go, go! Um, saan ba? From Mike Magic, Magic Mike, hi! I have the plan to visit uh, USA by June. Pero parang alangan talaga ako sa situation ng passport ko. Ayan. mag expire kasi ito ng November 30 this year. Sabi ko, oh, ayan. Sabi ko sa video, 6 months, within 6 months, di mag expire Tapos comments mo, comment mo is 5 months ago. So 1 month na lang, uh, mag-apply mag mag ka June. Tapos, may expire November, June, July, August, September, October, November. Five months, tapos sabi ko, later, tapos sabi ko, dapat six months valid. Tapos, what if November ka, what, November, may expire. What if you'll fly out, ah, uh, you'll apply June, you'll fly out, you'll, you'll attempt <laughs> to fly out on, let's say, this month, July. Um... A question is, ipalilipad ka ba ng immigration natin kahit may US visa ka? Pwede tatakan, ah, hindi na pwede tatakan kasi June. Five months na kasi, and tapos, pag nag-apply ka June, tapos November may expire. Hindi ka, the, 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 the US Embassy require na at least six months active. So, wala na. 5 months left lang kasi sa passport mo. So, kumuha ka ng bagong passport. Alam mo, kung paano mo kumuha, kumuha ng bagong passport na mabilis, pumunta ka sa Puerto Princesa. Grabe. Parang 15 minutes, tapos na. Ang bagong passport mo na 10 years valid. Ayan. Sa, sa, ayan. Sa, <laughs> matas pala yung comment niya. Sabi kasi is, kasi, sabi kasi isa sa mga kakailangan is at least 6 months. Yes. By the way, guys, so kahit saan kayo lumabas na, kahit yung visa-free country, kahit sa Singapore na kapapunta, tapos mag-expire na yung passport mo, mo in 3 months, di ka papali pa rin yan. So, dapat, ano, um, pag, pag malapit na mag-expire, para malapit na mag-6 months, renew ka na agad, huwag ka na mag-wait na, ano, 6 months, 5 months, 5 months na lang, dude. Parinew ka na. What do you think? Ituloy ko ba ang pag-apply o hintayin ko na mag... Huwag pa rin yung hanapin. Bakit maghihintay ka pa nang ma-expire ang passport mo? Pwede ka na mag-parinew. Basta yung passport mo may expire na in 6 months. Pwede ka na mag-parinew. What if um, puno na yung passport mo tapos 5 years valid pa? Let's say 10 years valid. Bago na naman. So let's say 5 years valid yung passport mo. Tapos puno na yung passport mo na tatak pwede ka nang magmo ang uh, passport number sa DS160. Yes. Uh, next, hello from Christine Agudo. Thanks for sharing all the infos. Welcome. Ask ko lang, ano ang gagawin natin if hindi ma-approve sa US visa? Kailan po tayo ulit mag-apply? Bukas, pwede ka mag- for example, na interview ka ngayon, na-deny ka ngayon, pwede ka mag-apply bukas. Yan ang ginawa ng parents ko when I was still in high school. They applied for US tourist visa for a conference there. Everything is paid for. The flight, the hotel, the conference, 
I mean, like, with pocket money and all, prepared na lahat by the company. And they get, they got denied not only once, but twice. They were denied today and the next day. So, yun. Um, dahil, bakit sa amin, <laughs> minor pa dito, minor pa daw kasi ako. So, sino ang magbabantay daw sa akin? Um, from Lian, Lian, Lian or Lian Marquez. Hi, Gopa. Sino ang Gopa? Ask ko lang, student pa po. Yeah. Student, ask ko lang. Student pa kasi ako at mag-apply ako ng tourist visa para Christmas break. O halang bakit walang travel permit galing sa school? I can't really say. But if you can, I think the, the, the baguettes na 16 years old baguettes get a letter from her parents as stating na they will allow her to leave the country without them. And then she also have uh, the proof from the school na she's enrolled. I forgot what the, is the term. Form something from the school na to show na she's actually enrolled to the school. So, same question from Lian Martels. Ate, pag nag-apply ka ng visa, may medical pa po ba yan? Ang sabi ko, lima lang ka documents ka. <laughs> Bisaya. Uh, lima na documents lang kailangan. Or things na you need to bring. Yung uh, US visa picture. Yung valid passport. Yung DS-160 na pinaprint. Hindi yung form. Yung DS-160 na two pages. And then schedule page. Ano yung fifth? Nakamutan ko yung fifth. Basta yun. Lima na documents. Watch the how to apply for US visa video. Ano yung five na documents na sinasabi ko. Um, pero, pag may pag makapagdala ka na documents na makapag-support na sinasabi na may strong ties kayo. For example, uh, business permits, yung bank statements, showing that you are capable of uh, paying or someone is capable of paying the trip and you have a tie here just like the baguettes na sinas- pinapasyon niya, nag-prepare siya ng form from the school na she's actually enrolled. So, yun. She got, she got approved, by the way. Uh, from Jane Kaliha, pwede po bang mamili ka na ng round trip ticket para sure na babalik ka sa Pinas para magamit ng proof. Uh, then, uh, di ka magsistay na naman tagal. Okay, ito, maraming question dito sa akin. Ito, sabi niya, ito, kinekwenta, nakwenta ko talaga. Kinekwenta ko talaga ito. Um, let's say, yung airline ticket mo is $1,200 round trip. Uh, ito yung ate ko, yung sa flight ng mama ko, naging one-two lang dahil yung may special request siya for my mom kasi senior na. Yung seat, yung meal, uh, kasi diabetic siya. Ayun. So, let's say na lang, one-two yung round trip ticket mo from the US to the Philippines. One-two. Dollars, so that means stands fifty. Uh, well, how much? Fifty thousand. Let's say sixty thousand na lang para safe. So you spend sixty thousand pesos for a round trip ticket. Pero one to one thousand two hundred dollars. Let's see. Let's use the ano the dollars. Ang ECP nila yan. Pag one to ang gasto mo sa sa ticket. Pero pag nagpunt- bigyan ka nila ng tourist visa, tapos mag-work ka doon, let's say, ng bilang cashier o stocking, stocker, stocker, uh, yung tax arrangement sa Walmart or kahit ano sa, ng, 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 ng trabaho sa Amerika, $15 an hour. In a month, you will be able to earn 2000 something. Let's say 2-5. Bawing-bawing na yung airline ticket mo, te. So, so, in one month, in just two weeks siguro, bawing-bawing na ang airline ticket mo. So, for me, having a round trip ticket is not a strong proof na you will really come back. 
So, I highly recommend even uh, I saw a video in uh, from the uh, what, what station was it? Um, a U.S. A consul himself, a U.S. embassy consul himself, did say, "Don't book a round trip ticket, kasi sayang lang hindi yan strong ties o strong proof na babalik ka." Yung consul na mismo nagsabi yan, hindi ako. So ang analysis ko yan. Eh, kasi ba yung bawin mo na pag nag-work ka doon? So, hindi siya considered na strong ties. It's like investment. You're just investing a $1,200 to make $2,500 in a month. One ma- sa one month, bawin bawin na. Then, how long are will you be able to stay there in the US? Sa so, ang daming TNT doon, na hindi na umuwi 10 years. Ilan, ilan years na doon bawing bawing na sila sa investment nila na round trip ticket diba so I, I don't recommend na mag book kayo na round trip ticket without a valid or approved visa pag di kayo sure na na lilipat kayo pag di kayo wala pa sa mga kamay nyo ang approve o hindi nyo alam na approve or hindi kayo nasabihan na approve visa wag mo na kayong mag book kahit na nasabihan na kayo na-approve ang visa nyo, hindi nyo malalaman kung ilang years. Kasi yung kaibigan ko, si Mary, hi Mary, <laughs> uh, binigyan dyan ng tourist visa, multiple entry, 6 months. <laughs> so, meron pa 6 months? Hindi ko alam na mayroon pa lang yung 6 months. Akala ko 5 years, 10 years lang yung binibigay. Or 1 entry. So, kanya, multiple entry, pero 6 months. So, uh, what if nakapag-book kayo in, in 7 months? Expired na yung visa nyo, di ba? So, tsaka lang kayo mag-book basta, o tsaka lang kayo mag-book ng round trip ticket pag nasa kamay, ay, pag nasa kamay nyo na yung tourist visa ninyo, yung passport ninyo. Kasi dun nyo na malaman kung anong visa ang binigay sa inyo. Um, yeah. Next question from Timrick Mason. Hi po. My parents are ha- are in Hawaii, including my sister and her family. Ah, hindi ko natapos yung screenshot. Sorry. <laughs> Ibang question na lang. From Rice of Jerusalem. Wow. Kailangan pa ng NBI clearance? Nope. Wala akong minention sa video ha. No. Tanginan mo. Nasa ka- video. Video ko. Nag comments niya. Nagsabi ako five documents lang, tapos supporting documents. Tapos they ask, may NBA clearance ba? May sinabi ba ako? Kasi importante lahat ng sinabi ko. Pag walang sinabi ko, wala. Supporting documents ba yung ano, NBA clearance? Hindi. Napaprove ba ang, ang isa tulong ba ng NBA clearance? Napaprove ba o nauuwi ka sa Pilipinas? Hindi. Di ba? Common sense din minsan, guys. Sunshine Magda- Mandani. Kailangan po ba ng marriage contract if ever single? If ever na single ka sa passport? I guess so. Kasi yung sister ko, yung passport niya single. Uh, tapos, married na siya. So, she always carry with her uh, her photocopy of her marriage contract. Kasi, yung, yung passport niya, miss. Tapos, yung dala-dala na is uh, missis na. So, yes, bring na lang pa for, ano lang, for being prepared. Uh, from Glenn. Ito ha, ito ha. Glenn, hindi ko nasasabihin yung last name ma. Hi girl, ask ko lang, if visit visa ka, uh, I think she's saying tourist visa, sa US, pwede mag-work ba dun? Glenn. Tourist nga. Pag gusto mo mag-work, kumuha ka ng working visa, not tourist visa. Pag kahit na, nabigyan ka ng tourist visa, tapos pag nating mo sa immigration, nalaman nila na work ang purpose mo to go to the US. Hindi ka paliliparan ng Pilipino, ng kapwa Pilipino. Ka Tiong Son, ang ganda niya. Sis, paano po yung ginawa mo sa itinerary? Yeah, itineraries mo. Di ba kasi meron dun sa form na you need to provide your itinerary? Paano kung wala? Wala kong nilagay na itinerary. 
please enlighten me. Wala akong nilagay. Um, kasi optional lang naman, ang sinabi nun, optional na ilagay mo yung itinerary sa DS-160 form. Which, in our case, we didn't. Yeah. In our case, we didn't put the, ano, the itinerary. Mm, di din kami nagdala ng itinerary sa interview. Pero, if you can bring an itinerary sa interview, why not? Be prepared lang. Uh, from Alejandro Del Cris G. I will have an interview by August. Uy! August. Ano na yan? Ay, August na pala yan. If ma-approve ba, it means it's automatically, automatically 10 years? No. There's one entry, there's six months, there's five years, there's ten years visa. So, no. Depende yan sa consul. Pagbasa niya sa'yo, uh, let's just give you for this time one, uh, one entry. This time. For your application, eh, maybe this time, let's give you six months. Depende yan sa consul. Ang consul ang mag-decide. Kasi siya yung nakaharap mo, siya yung nag-interview sa'yo. Siya yung nakaharap mo, siya yung magbabasa sa actions mo, siya yung mag-analyze sa sinasabi mo. Kung karapat dapat ka babigyan. And I put two weeks lang intended stay po sa US. Gusto ko lang po maintain ano yung 10 years multiple na entry po nila na i-grant. And also if granted po ba, like my specific time limit po ba sa stay. Oh, okay. For example, binigyan ka na 5 years multiple entry. So meaning, sa 5 years multiple time so 5 years multiple times ka makapagpasok ng mabas pasok ng mabas pasok ng mabas sa America for example um let, let's say this year you have your 5 years multiple visa pwede kang pumasok sa America August lumabas ka September tapos pumasok ka September naman tapos lumabas ka September ulit tapos pumasok ka no, by November lumabas ka December then pumasok ka naman December then lumabas ka next year by February that's multiple times so hindi kasi sa, like sa China ang visa ko sa China, one entry lang this year. So, pag, pag pumasok na ako ngayon sa China, oh ma'am, you don't have no visa. You have no visa. So, ayun. Pag multiple entry, meaning, unlimited, parang only, unlimited pasok ka sa America for this certain time. So, pero, hindi ibig sabihin na 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 pumasok ka, pumas, papasok ka by August. Lalabas kay August next year. <laughs> Hindi. Pwede yan. Kasi ang maximum stay ng tourist visa, kasi tourist visa nga, ba Tourist visa, meaning nag-lockout sa kalang doon. Hindi yung resident visa. Hindi green card holder. Iba yun, mga te. So, pag tourist visa ka lang, tourist ka lang. Six months, actually, is too much. Pero, pag, especially if yung working age. Pag, pag senior na, it's kind of understandable na six months lang. So, pag tourist, talagang tourist visa, tourist ka, hindi ka stay doon ng six months. Paano yung work mo? ba So, maximum stay is six months for a tourist visa. So, example, papasok ka by January, uuwi ka dapat bago mag June. For example, January 4 ka pamasok dapat umuwi ka before June 4. Pag pumasok ka ng uh, June, uh, January 4, umalis ka doon ng July 4. That's more than 6 months. That can be a ground to cancel your visa na. Kasi more than 6 months ka nagstay sa US. So, you can stay there 3 months, 2 months, 2 weeks wag lang more than 6 months kasi pwede makancel ang visa mo ayan I hope I was able to answer your question Alejandro Del Cris G ah, hindi ko na naman na kuha yung ano niya ha, nag-apply ako invite ako ng cousin ko tapos siya lahat gas ko, wala akong credit card okay lang ba yun? o need ka pa ng show money ah, hindi ko na screenshot yung name niya um, you don't need a credit card. Wala akong credit card. Sa buong buhay ko, hindi ako ng credit card. 
uh, allergic ako sa credit card kasi hindi ako fan ng utang. <laughs> uh, need ka ba ng show money? You need money on your bank account. Hindi credit card. Iba yung ATM card at saka credit card, debit card. Iba yun. Um, credit is means utang. Yung, yung ATM or debit account is yung money mo talaga na pinaput mo lang, sinesave mo lang doon sa bank account. So, kailangan may money ka, lalo, kang, lalo na if ikaw yung gagasto ng trip. So, para proof mo sa kanila na you're, you're not intending to work there. You are capable of surviving in the US. So, you, you need a bank account. You don't need a credit card. You do need money. But don't bring the money sa US Embassy. May... Uh, how would I say this? May kakilala kami or family friend should I say uh, na milinaryo as in tapos nagdala siya ng money sa US Embassy <laughs> as in yeah I, I, hambog naman talaga siya so hambog siya na tao so pinakita niya sa console yung cash <laughs> Anong ginawa? Milenaryo yun. Dininay. So, it's not a matter of money. It's not a matter of if you're rich, if you're poor, if you can, you know, ka- afford. He can afford. Duman. Pero it's just a matter of if they can trust you na uwi ka talaga. Hindi ka mag-work doon. Talagang tourist. Talang, ka lang talaga. So, medyo kapag ganyan kasi, pwede hambog ka, sobra sa pera mo. Medyo, ano, questionable ba? And, dadala ka ng cash doon sa, ano, sa US. So, that's, that can be money laundering, ha? Magkano nga more than $5,000 at money laundering, di ba? So, careful din, control yung pagkambog nyo guys minsan, okay? Lower it down. Calm down. <laughs> So, di, so, from Camille Villarte, di na po ba need ng medical? Mm-hmm. Hindi ko sinabi na may medical sa video. Bari Jah, 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 sorry. Bari Hako ha- Salem. Hi, I, hi, miss. I'm from Cebu. Hello. My mom and dad are both seniors. Na ba translator sa US Embassy for them? Actually, yes. But I don't know how to do this. Kasi my mom didn't request for it. So, if you are not comfortable to speak English, kung nahihiya kayo, o medyo, like this one, senior, medyo nag-loading minsan kasi pag English, lalo na pag hindi sanay. So, mayroon kasi mga senior na sanay. So, um, you can request for, for, for a translator or for someone na meron kasi mga consul na alam magtagalog meron I, I I'm not sure kung meron consul na alam magbisaya versus you're from Cebu or alam magsibuano so alam pa alam ko meron uh, meron consul na nata tagalog so I'm not sure though kung paano ito magrequest but I think when you get there in the embassy sabihin mo lang na ano ide ah dapat sila magsabi di ba kasi hindi ka makapasok pag, pag hindi ka kasama sa pag-apply yung parents mo lang papasok tapos uh, make them uh, if there's someone assisting them from kasi may mga asher sa embassy sabihin nila na no, they need a translator or someone who can speak uh, Tagalog or Bisaya and the, the asher will take care of it um, I'm not sure about that ha so uh, best if you tweet the US Embassy Philippines. They're very active na mag, uh, mag-reply. So, from Jeffrey Ann, paano po mag-apply ng paano po mag-apply ng visa kapag kasama mo ang parents mo? Kailangan po ko? Kailangan ko bang piliin ang group scheduling? Yes! yun ang nangyari sa parents ay sa parents sa akin at saka mama ko group uh, interview Onyx Romano ma'am pwede po malaman kung ano nga requirements ang dala mo noon sa interview uh, watch the video again 
guys watch the video again guys sa how to apply for USB sa everything is there uh, watch the video again kasi ma mahaba haba na na stream to so uh, let's let's conserve time kasi it's already uh, what time is it na almost 11 p.m. I need to sleep Trisha Prince required ba na fluent sa English for interview nope uh, you can use a translator pero if you can go for the English one uh, ano pa? I, I, ano pa, ano pa Avon Agabaw hello can I ask you something sure my mom is a petitioner. Pwede ba siya pumasok sa loob ng US Embassy? Hindi. Yung makakapasok lamang ay yung my schedule for interview. Hindi, hindi po kasama yung mga cheerleader din niya. Spicy Sugar 888. Okay lang ba kung sabihi, sasabihin ko na 6 months ako magstay sa US? Or mas safe if I say 2 months lang ako doon? Kung may papakita mo na capable ka na di mag-work for 6 months if you have a work. Pwede kang di mag-work for 6 months there. Tapos ikaw bahala sa gastos. Or someone will be taking care of you for 6 months. But as far as I know, um, meron nagsabi, may, may nawatch akong video na Filipina, a boyfriend niya ata yung magbabayad I will kasama niyong boyfriend sa labas. Uh, Nag-wait sa labas yung boyfriend niya. Tapos, ano, um, uh, nag-apply siya. Sabi niya, she will be there in the US for three months. Three months sinabi niya, tapos denied. So, clue. Dona Lopez, ate, hello, magta-travel din ako at may sponsor. Ano po ang probably na hinanap na requirements? Watch the video. How to apply for USB I, I, uh, For those who will be watching this for a replay or... Will I be replaying this? Yeah. For, uh, for, for who's not watching live, I will be putting the links of the video down below this video. Para malaman niyo kung which video I'm referring, on, <laughs> referring to about. So, before you watch... Full, if, before you fully watch this, watch that one first. Okay. Shina Ogoy, wala ba silang titignan na documents nyo o nag-ask how much monthly income na mama mo? Uh, sa amin, wala. Ang saka, sang katutak na dinala ko na documents na supporting, like bank statements, letters, and all. Wala, mas kisa. Monthly income, wala. Kasi retired na yung mama ko. Uh, Ma'am, paano pag tourist visa po? Ano ay, uh, ma, tourist visa, paano po? Ha? Ah? Pag tourist visa po, ano enter ko po dun? Bala ko kasi na pumunta sa Korea. <laughs> Kuya, anong pangalan ito? Walang ha? Kuya, hindi po to Korea visa, US visa po to. Rialin. Rialin. Yun lang, pangalan niya. Ilang months po ang hinihintay para makapag-apply ulit. Pwede agad bukas, mag-apply ka. Ah, example, denied ka ngayon, apply ka ulit bukas. Pero, 8,000 po ang mawawala. So, best if you solve the issues they have with you. So, for my case, no strong ties. So, pag I'm trying to solve it right now. Um, I, saw, I also try to show through traveling out to other countries. Na talagang, makatilan talaga ang tako. <laughs> May liling ako mag-travel. Yun lang. So, gusto ko lang talaga lumaga sa Amerika. Wala akong plano mag-work. Uh, Edwin Fabian, isa sa mga vlogs mo ang pinanood ko bago ako na-approve. Salamat sa iyo. Ah, Edwin Fabian, congratulations. Pasalubong. Uh, Courtney Conrado, hi good PM ma'am. Pwede mag-ask, ako raman good ba na na jud hmm? Ako raman jud ba na na work o ako wala. Okay ra ba na ma'am? Okay ra. Uh, so as your husband can afford na kamong dua kaya ako man nagbantay sa mo anak sa mo dua ka anak ma'am, huwag uban na na mo sila dua sa interview, pero baby pa sila yes kung, maka -afford, kung makapakita sa inyo ang imong bana, kung may pakita ng husband mo na he can afford for your trip there 
you are all capable and you are you know going home uh you're just there for tourism why not uh tio ad eh, uh, tio ed tuon pwede na ka mag apply sa gua kay business oh ako gano'n okay business <laughs> Kahit ako, wala akong business dito. Nag-apply ako, pero deny. Pero may, may student uh, na-approve. Na, na-approve siya. Angel K. Te, masayo na rin apply if senior. Like 60 plus. Kaya di ba retired so wala job niya. And sa um, recommend ni mga approve ka na ties dito sa Pribinas. As lang ko ate kay na-approve man. Iyemo ma'am niya. Ako saan pa apply ako ma'am. Mag-tourist visa kay Aron makavisit na mo, na mo dito sa US. Kung Bisa yan, son. So, may tatagalog ako. I'm loading. Yes. Um, they said, sabi nila, na mas easier na pag senior. Pero may nag, nag-inform sa akin na yung mga parents nila na senior na didinay. I'm not sure why. It's probably through history. May history siguro sila na nag-work carrying, with carrying a tourist visa. Or they have seen something else on your background. Or maybe, you know, they're worried about something. I'm not really sure. But, uh, why not just try? Try nyo lang, mag-apply. Sometimes it's just, you know, suerte-suerte lang talaga minsan. Um, yeah. Yeah. But most of the people I know, na, na ano, na, let's say, uh, 7 out of 10, Seniors na approve, then three gets denied for some reason. And then, where, 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 where? where? Hanap pa tayo ng question. Sassy Vaz, uh, Sassy Vajay Jackson. Haji, ganahan po si Mom Video. Thank you. Uh, very informative. Thank you. Pila ka months ka ang tourist? Six months maximum stay. Tapos, uh, it can be given multiple entries on uh, number of years. Uh, from Anver Mojica, ilan taon po si mother mo? Ngayon, 62-63. Somewhere there. <laughs> 60s, in her 60s. From Darren Maniosa, what if pupuntaan mo, pupuntahan mo ang BF mo, pero hindi pa kayo nakita? Okay. Ito. Ah, uh, I don't recommend for Filipinas to go to the territory of a guy that you haven't met it yet. Kasi ako, mahilig ako mag-watch ng crime, <laughs> crime TV series, uh, crime series, true crime series. Um, uh, at may na, 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 na watch na ako na Filipina. He, she married an American and she got murdered for insurance. So careful lang girls kasi meron din kasi uh, human trafficking. Kaya nagsistrict to yung ano natin yung immigration officer kasi ayaw nila na mabibiktima ka na human trafficking. So if you are not allowed to be if you are offload from your flight uh just think na lang, other thinking for your own safety kasi hirap talaga uh, hanapin oh, at mahirap po mag-rescue talaga. Mag, kung hindi kayo makapag-relate, watch po kayo ng Rafi Tulfo, Ben Tulfo. Ang dami. Y- yan kasi yung watch ko minsan pag, ano, pag gusto ko mag- may mapakinggan while working. I am listening to those. Kawawa po mga kababayan natin na nagtuturis visa tapos na go work abroad. Tapos hirapan. Uh, tapos may nakilala po din ako na ano, na nag-work sila sa Qatar, sa Saudi Arabia na tourist visa. Ang hirap po ng buhay. Hapal. Mm, na gano'n na. You know? Tapos, yun. So, uh, pag tourist visa, hirap daw. Yun po ang sinabi ng uh, anta, OWA. Pag ng tourist visa ka, tapos nag-work ka pala, hirap tala. Tapos, uh, as for meeting your boyfriend, I highly suggest na dito muna kayo makita sa Pilipinas in your territory. Pero kasi di naman sure na anong, paano mo siya na meet online, he will be also the same in person. Have him here muna para may history ka na nakita talaga kayo, ganun. Kasi most likely, if you're going there, kahit may tourist visa ka, 
hindi ka papayagan ng immigration natin na lumipad kasi hindi pa kayo nag-meet. Hindi uh, yung uh, meron pang isang ano, so sino nga yun, uh, ang pangalan na kalimutan ko. na offload siya kasi yung pupunta lang siya ng Singapore to meet a guy, a foreigner. na offload siya sa flight niya kasi hindi siya, hindi pa magkikita sila sa boyfriend niya o friend lang. Sa kalimutan ko na, I'm sorry if I, I'm not, you know, uh, exact with the story. Um, pupunta sila, magkikita sa Singapore ng friend, let's just say friend. Pero ang nakapangalan sa hotel ay hindi sa kanya. Walang nakapangalan ng hotel sa kanya. So, uh, they're worried na baka may human trafficking lang siya. So, it's for own safety. Don't be hurt. Na na-offload ka. Don't run. Sino ba kaya? Ba, 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 ba. It's just for your own safety, guys. Okay? Kasi hirap. Malaking gastos ng go- government natin pag ganyan. Um, sabi na million-million ang gastos nila kasi they have to investigate. They have to use contact people nga, who can help them find a Filipino who was abused or who is who needs um, rescue so careful kayo guys uh, ano pa Empress Jean Lura ang hirap pala uh, sa unang tingin nahirap siya, nakakaba, nakakatakot pero kaya mo yan te let's do this, apply it apply na ng to, US tourist visa. Uh, Marcelo Pangilinan, thank you very informative. Haha, <laughs> thank you then po sa pag-watch. Uh, ano pa? Uh, we're almost finished. Is this all? Wala na? Mm. Ah, uh, from Alina Usi. Hi, where can I send a personal message? Um, Uh, if you're going, don't please don't look for my personal Facebook Facebook account. Don't also to me, don't also message me on Instagram. Look for my fan page Exotic Philippines uh, Travel Blog. I always respond there. So go to Exotic Philippines Travel Blog Facebook fan page. Um, I think wala na. Oh, ito pa. Claret Jane and Alcedo, thanks for the information. My visa was approved. Thank you for informing. May isa pa, wait. Uh, for the... Ay, may question ng as pala. Uh, kailangan pa ba mag-book ng hotel? No, don't book anything. Even flight. Don't, it's not required. Doesn't mean, ano, bawing-bawi ka te, basta mag-book ka ng hotel ng ticket tapos mag-work ka doon. Yun yung inisip niya. Hindi yun inisip ko. I'm not saying you will do that. Pero yun yung inisip siguro nila. Siguro ha. Uh, okay. Ito common question. Oh. How can... Okay. About making sure you'll come back to your home country. What do I need for that? Kuan. Kuan. Masaya. <laughs> So, question na is, how do you prove that uwi ka talaga sa Philippines? Number one is business. If you don't have business, it's not necessarily you, that you should have a business. Second, your work. Yun na ba? Never work ka dito for, for a company. So, ano lang maximum maximum time na you will be allowed by company to go to have a leaf. Diba? So, be realistic. Uh, as far as I know, one month ang allowed, two months, unless yung buntis, diba? Uh, maybe, maybe may banding ba tayo dito? Something. May ganun, diba? So, be realistic to yo, to yo, to what you're gonna say. Uh, then, another is your school. Just like yung bagas na na-approve, she was approved because her strong ties is her studies. So, it doesn't necessarily means business. Another is, um, you kid can be your stone ties here. Uh, it's just the way of the da, da, da watch the end of the video. <laughs> uh, is there a chance po ma-approve ako kahit 16 years old? Yes. Ako lang po mag-isa. Yes. Uh, see, ah, update if I'm silent. Uh, this is on the days uh, na interview siya. Nagchat-chat kami on the way sa sila US Embassy. 
Tentong tawa ako sa kanya kasi super nervous siya. Tapos ang dami niyang tanong. Tapos, oh, ate, naku. Saila, uh, congratulations. You have visa approved. Salamat sa pag-chika sa akin agad paglabas mo na na-approve ka. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, ilang, uh, sa, again, from Maluhan Dayan. She's asking how many days is the delivery of the passport of if you are your if your if your visa is approved. Uh, outside Manila, I believe it was ten to fifteen days, but my mom got it less than ten days, working days. So no weekends, no. For example, ten ah uh, tega si buka. Ten to fifteen days, let's say ten days na lang. Uh, na approve ka Monday, you'll get it the next Monday or the next. Tuesday, Wednesday, around that time. Wednesday, most likely. So, not included yung, ano, yung, yung weekend. Ayun lang. So, ang um, tip ko, sa so ito lang sa interview, tip ko lang, uh, his, this is, I'm not really gonna say this tip, uh, as, as what I have noticed sa mga na-approve na interview na, na I've watched before and compared to what I have said and what I've said na mistake ko so better watch my mistake video ano um you, the key in your US visa interview is to answer the question even though kasi sa amin walang documents diba nahinig niya super mainit na dito <laughs> okay sa amin walang kahit isang letter isang bank statement, walang hiningi sa amin. So, it will always depend on the console if he will ask for it. So, your way of proving or saying to the console na, uwi talaga ako, talaga makatay lang talaga ang pako. <laughs> Meaning lang ha, hindi, hindi funjay ha. Yung talagang mahilig ka talagang lumaga. You, you like to travel. Yun ang meaning talagang makatay lang talagang paho. Gusto ko na matry yung first world country. Yung ganun. Yung, yung, yung talagang gusto ko na baka punta ko. Gusto ko pumunta sa US. Other than seeing my first nephew. My only nephew. Um, I haven't seen him. He's already one years old now. And I was supposed to be there on his first birthday. But I wasn't given a visa. So, so uh, yun, yun ang primarily purpose ko. So, your way of, of, of answering the question will, re, will depend on the, on the decision of, consul, of the council. So, pag, di lang yung, nagbabackround, as far as I know, ha, nagbabackround check sila sa iyo. That's why they're asking for your Facebook now. That's why they're asking for your birthday. That's why you're asking for your real name, address, and all. So I do believe that they do ch- do have background checks. So maybe seventy percent of it of their decision will be from me. Seventy fifty percent is coming from the background check, and the remaining percentage will be the dis- the decision on the interview. Some of it may be a hundred percent. Na you really have a bad record uh, under eyes. Na, na, na kung bakit you should really don't have ano, a pro visa so maybe itatanong sa'yo anong name mo, anong birthday mo, okay denied meron daw meron na, may na-comment sa akin uh, video na ganun daw nangyari sa pe- parents niya so, if you're gonna ask a question uh, other than uh, like um, what's your purpose uh, what's your work or are you married do you have any kids? Yun ang pag, the way mo ma-answer ang questions is your way kung paano mo ma-convince o masasabi sa consul without showing na, wa, na kahit man di niya makita ang documents na saying na may, may business ka, may strong ties ka, nababalik ka sa Pilipinas, ano kahit anong mangyari. Without even saying that, it's your answer. It's the way how you answer, they will be able to know na or show them na talagang uwi ka kasi especially sa time ngayon ni Trump he doesn't want illegal workers he doesn't want more 
immigrants. He wants to be strict more. Imagine, I was denied. Tapos strict to na sila doon na time. Mga a month after I was denied, mas naging strict pa sila. Imagine that one. <laughs> so, sa panahon ni Trump, mas strict to pa sila ngayon. Because they don't want more people stealing jobs on their American citizens. So that's why they want to be more strict on US tourist visa kasi yun ang nag-TNT. So, make sure sa pag-answer mo sa questions nila, mapapakita mo na oo talagang tourist lang talaga ang purpose ko. Na may strong ties ako dito. Kasi diba, uh, if you watch my mistakes video, yung mistake ko is yung pag-answer ko na what? What is SEO? Kasi yung job ko is, sabi ko, what is, 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 tinanong niya, so what's your job? I'm, uh, I said, I'm a SEO specialist. So he said, what is SEO? Without even looking at me. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even sure if he was listening, but I think he was most likely listening and he was checking on the documents that he have, not my documents, ha, that he have on his computer. Um, I said, uh, it's like, <laughs> my explanation was how I explain things for my clients kung paano I explain my sa client I didn't think I was I didn't think na uh, that time I should answer it to defend myself that I have strong ties I said na SEO is the way of ranking your website on search engine to get more clients to get be searched to be to be so, so, so your potential customers will be able to easily find you. Ah, ganyan ang pagkasagot ko. This is the way how I answer my clients. Which is a big mistake. That's my mistake. So, the way I should have answered that one is, um, for example, just like my client here in Cebu, Philippines, which is a car rental company. If you are going to look for a car rental in Cebu, or rent a car in Cebu, or van for rent in Cebu, self-drive car in Cebu, you will find their website. <sighs> Yun. So, without showing documents that I have contracts, I am a consultant for this company here in the Philippines, through my answer, na ipapakita ko, nagpapadama ako sa kanya na huy, may trabaho ako dito, may babalikan ako kasi pag, pag, pag mawala to sa akin, mawala ako ng income at may kontrata ako sa kanila every year, we renew it so, it's been and I've been with them for like 7 years, 8 years na as a consultant so, it's a long term relationship with this guy, with this company actually two companies with at least two companies and I would just not leave them just because of you know going to my sister to, to see my nephew for the first time so that, that's how supposed to be I, I am supposed to be to answer that question so sa inyo paano nyo ma-answer yung question na simple na lang question na uh, for example uh, another another question he asked me was, uh, "Do you have any kids?" Uh, I was I was thinking of making a joke, but actually, na nag script na ako. Pero dahil sa nervous ko, tapos tapos mukha niya na parang serious. Hindi na ako nag joke. Tapos I should have. I, I was planning to say, "You mean human kids?" <laughs> no, I I I I said I. I should have, I, I, I've been wanting to say now, you mean human baby kids? I mean, human babies? No, I don't have human babies. And he was like, and most likely he would be like, oh, do you mean human babies? Meron ba ibang baby? Diba? And he, he will most likely look at me. I have, then I will answer, I have five dogs. I have five dogs. Three of them are senior dogs. And one of them, uh, don't trust anyone other than me, my mom, and my three knees, and my brother. Hindi siya pumapayag na natatouch o malalapitan ng kahit sinong tao. <laughs> so, siya, uh, actually my dogs are my strong ties, one of my strong ties. So, I should have made that joke na, you mean, human babies now, I have five dogs. Diba? So, 
how about you guys how you will be able to answer the, the questions think about it so um i'll try to see if i will be able to compile the common questions asked on the u.s visa tourist visa interview and i'll let you answer those questions and um, that's pretty much it this will end now our two hours <laughs> two hours live stream thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next stream i will try to stream again uh live stream uh, let me know what is your uh, so question of the day question of this live stream what live stream day you want because this is a saturday i know this is like tomorrow you have to go to church today is saturday and maybe you want saturday sunday tuesday on what time and second question of the day is that what uh, topic you want to discuss on the next video do you want um the 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 the, 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 the first time flight guide or this u.s tourist visa let me know your questions let me know your answers to my questions please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video if this was very helpful don't forget to also watch on my other videos three videos already have published uh yeah that's pretty much it guys if you wanna also help this channel grow because you appreciate my help so far um you can also send your donations to my paypal is paypal.me slash gdomaki i'll put that in down below on how you can be able to send help to make more videos for me oh yeah for me <laughs> more videos for me to make more videos and another way is not only through donating cash or money or through paypal but also you can buy t-shirts on teespring i have t-shirts there uh, for sale and you can buy and i get something a few, a few bucks so yeah that's in the stream thank you for watching good night everybody and see you on the next stream let's try this every month but most likely not <laughs> okay thank you guys for watching see you guys next week every friday here on this channel bye